Hello, Monsters of Ban here, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 30 of my Nakai the Wanderer campaign. Which is going okay, still. It's good. Just touch and go there for a second, but it's fine. Um, I mean, just stability-wise, but we're, we're good. We're good. Right, as Hack is almost defeated, I think he's got Silver Pinnacle and uh, Kazid Urkulzus. Which, unfortunately, is a capital. Is Karakung... Oh, I thought Karakungal was the capital. Not Karak... A Kuzul. Was that always not the capital? Was that... The, did that used to be the capital? I feel like it did. But... Do my memories deceive me? Probably. I'm getting on. Oh well. Anyway, so we need to take that. Uh, so we need to. Kill, oh, we also need to kill that. Uh, have I? Who have I sent to go and attack that one then? Have I sent anyone? Oh yeah, and Malice is in Kislev now. Which is, to be honest, really cool. Like the fact that you know you've got faction. Like you know, uh, I j just the fact that there's Dark Elves in Kislev is legitimately pretty awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. The, 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 now, you know what? I, I feel like Nakai has got a few problems as a faction. Not just the fact that... Uh, I'll give you that one. Wait. Yeah, no, that one. Um, not just the fact that he can't really do allies, um, but also the fact that his vassal... His vassal kind of takes the settlements means that you can't take a settlement and give it to someone else. Which is kind of a problem. Um... I feel like maybe you should have the option as the Kai to give your vassal settlements to someone, I think. I don't know how many of these we actually need. I think it's 30. I think 30 is the maximum. So we're like 10 over. Um, we are losing some settlements down here because Queek is taking them. And I mean, yes, that is a problem. But to be honest, uh, I'm going to concentrate on dealing with the, the Greenskins because they are obviously the major threat and uh, losing settlements does absolutely nothing to affect me. I'm, I still, because the cap of money is 25,000, I lose settlements and it, it basically is meaningless to me. Also the fact that I've got pretty much all of Lustria. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much fine to be honest, I think. I'm okay. Uh, can we maybe... Shush. Can I? Uh, you know what? Wounding someone is probably the better option. <sighs> well, you know. You try, you try and you try. And you, we, we did have a wave of success, didn't we? There was a wave of success earlier. And now we hit the wave of failure. It is, it is the way of things. As the turning of the tides. As is the fucking up of my agents. And sometimes them doing okay. I mean, no, basically. Sorry, Marcus, but you, you heard the big guy purge. So we are, we are purging. We are purging hard. Okay, Roger was spotted. Plunk was spotted. It's not... It's not really a major issue, to be honest. Ev well, everyone's ambush was foiled. Holy shit. Like, literally everyone was spotted. Can We can't reach the settlement. But we can... We can reach their art. So if we come over here, we bring Cricket in, and then we attack this. Oh, you're running. I, I honestly thought you would fight. Uh, if you, if you come here, is that gonna... Yeah, okay. We attack. Right. That's more like it. Well, I say that's more like it. That is a shit ton of lads. That is a shit ton of boys. But it might be the vast majority of the green skin strength. Do they have any artillery? They have one... Two units of artillery. Okay. Oh, and a unit of clan rats. And Skaven slaves. Ah, oh, that's nice. They've brought friends. Uh, let's put the... I don't know, that on you. Sure, that'll do.
Obviously, we're going to do a little bom bombing run beforehand. It's just, uh, just for funsies. Gonna keep Cricket back because there's not much he can really do about this at the moment. Uh, if he were to charge in, he'd just get mobbed and uh, brutally murdered. So probably not the best idea, but we're doing a little bit of tickling there. Just uh, doing some bombardments, taking some chunks out of them. But we are taking a little bit of return fire. Yeah, those goblin shamans do not like us. Doing some uh, lovely bombardment there. We just want to try and take out that goblin doom diver. Oh, gee, Jesus, guys. Chill. I'm actually going to bring my two skink shamans, or priests, I should say, up to help out. Do a little whirlwind there, which is yeah, doing all right. At least if they just keep hitting me with... Isn't it weird how like, these guys look level 32, but they've obviously never got any any spells? Like, 28, and they've got the only spell... They've got Sneaky Stabbing, and uh, Spiteful... Is it Spiteful Glare? Whatever it is. Oh, look at these boys all blobbed together. That is too juicy not to drop rocks on. Oh, look at that big chunk of health damage. Holy shit. Meanwhile, our two skink priests are meandering their way through the trees. If they get close enough, we are... If, if only they were in range at the moment. Oh, they would do so much fucking damage. Look at them all having a little meeting there. What the fuck are they doing? I genuinely don't know, but... Uh, it makes them a lovely juicy target. Unfortunately, they are now starting to spread out. And all of my spells are quite short range. So as much as I want to sort of like get get some good spells in there, it's not really going to. Uh, I mean, you know, that, that's not going to do too badly. That's all right. Getting the lamb of spear in there as well, very nice. And then we're dropping the ion cannons. And Paul's Black Horror as well. Basically just, you know, dropping dropping all the shit on their heads and then getting the hell out of Dodge because there's two Aranarok Spiders heading this way. I mean, the damage we did was okay. Um, I, I, I feel like it could have been better, though. It could have been better. It was fine. Doing our second Whirlwind. Hoping to sort of, like, strafe through the enemy army. That looks not... Uh, that, that's fine. That's okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Just softening them up before the main events. So, I mean, we, we you know, all right, that, that's not too bad. We've done some damage there. We've killed about, what's that, 700 of them? About 700, 700 green skins dead, which is, you know, not bad, considering we haven't had to actually fight them yet. I feel like most of the dead are probably goblins. But a lot of units have taken damage. And our priests are going to get back to our line. We do have the, the Red Crescent Skinks defending our flank, just in case they do try and come around this way. So let's get our boys, get our lads back. Continue just to sit above, blast them as they try to advance. I mean, that, that that that's a lot of dead guys they've got there. That is, and even not dead, they're really badly wounded. Just makes our life a little bit easier. Okay. 
Do some more magic. Some banishment. Some rocks. So they're trying to get the hell out of dodge. The crocs are charging on the flank. Mincing those goblins. Oh no, they're goblins. They're, they're ratties. Well, they were anyway. They're jam now. And Marauder allies. We've got the Blessed Horned Ones on the flank there, moving in to take out the enemy missile units. And the Razor Dons, very good at taking out large units like the Arachnorok Spider. Just shred it with the thought. I, I feel like it does a lot of damage to Arsaurus as well. Arsaurus do not stand up particularly well at the moment. They, they do tend to get pretty... pretty damaged. But to be honest, they tend to get murdered pretty hard. Still, taking down one Arachnorok Spider. We're doing some lasers on the old Black Orcs there. Poor old Slog is uh, fighting a lot of Black Orcs, and that's not going to be... That's not ideal. They will do a lot of damage to him. I, I, I need some help over there, to be honest. Still trying to wipe out these Black Orcs over here. On this flank, we've sent in Karok and Slobster to try and hold back. There's two enemy generals there. Plenty of Black Orcs, some trolls. Even our sacred Croxagore will struggle with Black Orcs. Black Orcs are just very killy boys. While that's going on, the Blessed Horned Ones are running down enemy cavalry, mopping up that rear line. That does mean that more reinforcements are pouring onto the battlefield, but they're not very good reinforcements. It's just, uh, just Orc boys and shit, which should not be tough for us to deal with. I should have brought the, the Red Crested Skinks in. We've actually healed Slog. I kind of forgot that I, could, I, I actually had regrowth. So we've healed Slog to help him out. How much How much does regrowth do? 1.20%. That's uh, that's not bad. Those Black Orcs finally routed. Looks like the other Arachnorok Spider is also going down. And that Night Goblin War Boss just needs to be pinned and finished off. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, he did. There. Right, okay, there's two enemy generals down. Now the Pterodons are moving to engage the enemy reinforcements, knocking out the missile units first. These like goblin archers trying to do a little bit of fire on us. But we, we've just got more firepower, lads. Yep, okay, I think they've had enough. More reinforcements pouring onto the battlefield, but looking at numbers, I mean, we've we've killed our way through several thousand. How's everyone doing? All right, cricket, just mopping up some units over there. Good lads. Arsaras, okay, well they didn't do great. I mean, we, the thing is, we can replace them almost instantaneously with blessed units. So, uh, not really a problem. While, while the Kai might have problems with, you know, allies and shit, he also has blessed units, which means by the point that you have this many settlements, you can effectively probably staff an entire army with blessed units almost instantaneously. And it looks like the enemy army has had enough. Just need to chase him down and finish him off now. Then with any luck, as hag is dealt with, and we are 75% of the way to victory. Well, they weren't blessed. We can get blessed, boys. Hashtag blessed. Uh, that is... Wait, we can, we can always just encamp, can't we? Because we're a horde, so we can always encamp, and we can always just summon in a shit ton of... Well, oh, fuck it, Temple Guard. Let's get some Temple Guards. You know, sometimes you're just like, fuck it. Bless Temple Guard. That's, that's where it is. Let's get rid of them. Get some of them. I, I could effectively 
just staff. Ooh. 15%. I don't think I need any more campaign movement range, but I'll take it. We can effectively staff all of our... Can I reach that? No. Can I reach that with you? Peric victory. Um, I'm just, just... Can I just not resolve that? Are you going to kill anyone? Nope, that's fine. I'll take it. Uh, let's do a red one. Is that is that all they've got left? I think I think we I think we might have done it. By which I mean take out do do. Oh, miss yeah, missile resistance would be good. Uh you're renowned and feared. Let's make your army cheaper. Mind you, you are one of the cheaper armies we have. And you're a lot more micro. But but boy. Do you get shit done? Right, I'm not going to worry about this now. This is this is too much to deal with right this instant. We need to we need to I need to de-stress after that battle, so it's going to be, be some some random rampaging. Uh, sure, let's do a blue one, and we'll chase after you, and you will probably run away. Yeah, fairly understandably, to be honest. Can I? I'm going to try a little ambush stance. Oh wait, Hikwana, are you in range? Can we try? You know what? Just go after this one. He might. He might try and come back and deal with that. That'd be good. Now, Nakai, you're going to have a long walk back after dealing with those fucking beast men. Never mind. That's it. Get across the bridge. You're fine. Okay. So just one settlement left, and then we can head over to Ulthwan to attempt to fix this clusterfuck. Jesus Christ, guys! Like, what? What is? What even is this? What is going on? Rainbows? Is that a double rainbow? Might be a triple rainbow. I think you're going to fucking need it. Jesus. Absolute pandemonium. Now, uh, Nullen. Little bit under siege there. It's problematic. Eelhearts. Do we, do we, do we go for Eelheart? Do we go back and help defend the M? I think we need, I think we might need to go back and help defend the Empire. Or do we? Do we just, do we just go straight for it? Problem is, if we, we might have stuff like there's there's a lot of enemy armies here and i feel like we need someone to at least keep them at bay unless we just go fuck it and smash through into bretonia like purge as much of of grom as we can and just leave because the empire has held them back for the moment so maybe we just leave them to it like you know that's fine all right let's do what let's go for eelheart instead Let's get Roger, Plunk, let's attack, attack the city. Now, who, wait, are we actually attacking the city or are we attacking the army? I think we're attacking the army. I wanted to attack the city. Hang on, hang on. Attack Eelheart. Right, that's what I wanted because then they'll come in as reinforcements and I can basically just fuck them up as they arrive. That's that's what we're gonna do, depending on which direction they come from. To be honest, it doesn't matter. We can, we can get them regardless. So, well, they have a war as well. But that's not gonna arrive for three minutes. So, these arrive a minute after this. That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. None of this battle will take place inside the settlement. It's entirely going to be decided outside. <laughs> Mostly because there's so many units coming in as reinforcements that by the time we've wiped them all out, the, the, the poor garrison in the settlement won't be enough to actually keep the army on the battlefield. So anyway, immediately the Orc War boss comes charging down to attack Quang, as is traditional. So we sent... I, I literally knew that would happen, so I sent Plunk behind our lines to basically kick the shit out of him when he did turn up. That's right. Punch him to death. Shred him. All that kind of good stuff. Our reinforcements are arriving just now, just behind us. Over here, as you can see, there's a little garrison force just watching the battle. So we've got Black Orcs throwing themselves at our defensive line.
So we're going to hit him with everything we got. Mostly plunk, also lasers. Lots of lasers. Some corrosive spits. More lasers. Fire spit. Some more lasers. You get the idea. Just frying them orcs. Frying tonight. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a boar. I was like, what the fuck is that? Weird little monster. Okay, we've got a second wave. This is the wild forces. Of course, this won't be quite as potent as the black orcs. We're trying to bludgeon their way through our defensive line at the moment. That giant is a problem. Oh my god, the, the, the fire vortex. Lasts forever and does so much damage. Such a double-edged sword, though. Got rocks dropping on them. Pterodons are overhead. Yes. I mean, the Black Orc... Offensive... Is, is definitely depleted. But our thin blue line is barely holding them back. Fortunately, we do have a second blue line, which is now on its way to reinforce the first one. Blunk, can you kill that giant? Thanks, buddy. Oh, God, the fire vortex is coming back. Just gently roasting some orcs. Right, we're pushing forwards. The black orcs have broken, which means we can push forward into these slightly squishier wild troops. Over here, we've got a wave of trolls throwing themselves at the cavalry and... and Sarus. As we counter-attack. Doing some buffs here. Debuffing the enemy with uh, Curse of Anra here and buffing ourselves with Pan's Impenetrable Pelt to give ourselves additional melee defense and some physical resistance. And then we hit them with a, a Blood Statuette and also a Pit of Shades, which should be enough. Now that the main the main army's broken and fleeing off, because he plunk chased them down with the Flock of Doom dumped on these poor trolls. They're going to decide they've had enough and uh, get the hell out of there. You see morale is now dropping across the boards. And if we go and have a look at uh, the garrison troops, we can see they're also retreating. They, they just saw what happened and were like, yeah, we're not going to be next. Okay, took a little bit of damage. To be honest, we could replace these with fucking Temple Guard. Why am I doing that? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, grief. Done it. Done it. That's what we should do. That's what we should do. Just replace everything with Temple Guards. Because I feel like against Black Orcs, I mean, Black Orcs are very killy. What are the Temple Guard? What are their stats again? Okay, so they do have the armor piercing, which is nice. They do have the extra armor. They are more expensive, but... I've got 200k in the bank. What the fuck? I mean, the only slightly annoying thing is going to be clicking this button. Eight times. Or however many times I need to click the fucking button for. Still, I think Plunk has earned it. I think Plunk has earned... Earned his big chonky boys. He has been by my side since the start and he has murdered a lot of greenskins all right is that enough blessed temple guards do we think so look uh right so we got seven one two three four five six oh, that's plain right okay let's just get rid of all these guys i know they're blessed but fuck it Spawn. There we go. 46, 62, and they've got, uh, oh, they've got anti-large. Well, they do have a lot of armor piercing as well, so that's fine. Okay, I don't think we're going to be pushing any further, but... 
We've kicked them out. I think what I'm going to do is maybe hit the north here. Come and just I, if I can knock out. If I can keep them try, if I can try and keep them contained on in in Britonia, then hopefully maybe Durthu can help me out. Get get Durthu in there a little bit. Dwork, what are you doing? Can you just? Thanks. Greetings, honourable ally. You know what? When it says, why do I get the feeling that? But when it says it's basically that they think I'm their main threat, but they don't, they want to pretend that I'm not. Let's let's see, like the exiles of court. Who's their main threat? Me. Yeah, I get the feeling that my allies. The only reason they're not, I'm not their main threat, is because I'm their ally. That's the only reason. Because they don't seem to have another threat. Notice that they're not threatened by anyone else. Why am I clicking that? What does it do? Ancient state feral. I mean, what do you have any of those? You don't have any of those. It's not going to be really good for you. Why would you take that? It's just silly. It's just mad. Have a lightning strike instead. That'll help. Uh, okay, that's all fine. I need to remember to. I need to click the end turn button rather than click on the person with the level up because I don't know who actually has uh, has skill points to level up. Because a lot of my characters have the level up sign, but they don't have any skills to put points into. So there we go. Oh, you're trying to get away. Ooh, Scarecrow Banner. Uh, that one. I don't know, put that on you. Eat the survivors. I wonder if there's any allies with, like, armies I can... I think I did have a did have a look and they're all too expensive. Hello, Toddy. You want military alliance? I will take that. Have you only just come back to life? Okay, you're all mobilizing. That is great. Looks like you're about to take... In fact, can I tell you to... Uh, someone said if I told them to, like, raise the settlement, that was a better... How do I get... How do I get Welcome you? To my Attack... Oh, oh, occupy target. Right, so if I tell you... If I tell you to occupy that... I think that's, that's all they've got, isn't it? I think Azhag is... Oh, crap. Get out me, oh, bollocks. Get out, Dwork, get over here. Uh -uh. They don't have much. They won't be able to recruit... Uh, okay, they can recruit biggins. That's bad enough. Yeah, I think we stick to the plan. We we keep We keep heading in this direction. That's a fancy ship. My delights are too much for you. Okay, thanks for the updates. Do we have there's not really any green skin armies in range. What I could potentially do. do you know who I, am? I do you are going to attack that. So you know what? Let's let's put Plunk over here. That way he can assist in attacking that settlement. Okay, that army is kind of a problem. It's mostly dead. Can we assault? Nope, because you're tired from killing the other guy and everyone else has managed to suicide themselves. Good job. Come on, don't run too far. Pl don't just just not too far not too far no too no that's too far no, i don't really want to chase you through the fucking forest jungle that's the words oh, i'll take it uh we'll do a blue i haven't done a blue in a while so we'll do a blue okay you no longer have a home you are suffering from attrition as soon as I get my sticky little scaly hands on you, 
I'm going to wring your puny, weak little neck. All right, not much I can do about this. I'm just hope. Oh, come on, Thorgrim. There's one fucking settlement, mate. You can do. Come on, guys. Come on. I, I'm really trying, guys. I'm really trying to let you join in, but it's it's quite stressful for me. Hmm? It's quite stressful to watch you half ass dealing with a threat to your existence. It, it it's it's very very stressful. Oh good. Can we just go and assault? No. Yeah, no, you're the, you're the tired one. I thought you were a different one. No, you're the tired one. All right, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll go and purge Petonia. By that point, Cricket and and Squidge will hopefully have finished dealing with Azhag. If they can just nail him down. And maybe if we finished off Marcus, if we can nail him down. I would, lo I would love to nail Marcus. Oh, I would nail him so hard. Excellent. Plunk can come in and help. I mean, to be honest, that's not even... I was like, oh, we can have a nice allied battle. But realistically, that's... It, it's not even much of a garrison. At least Bretonia's taken it, because I don't need it. Wood Elves. Hi, guys. Peace. I didn't even know I was at war with you, Findor, to be honest. Uh, that was probably a mistake on my part. I hold my hands up there. That's, that's on me. Very much on me. Never mind. Right, how's this going? Right, you've taken that. Fantastic. And you've taken that. Fucking amazing. Which means that you... Got... Right, okay. All dwarves converge on the last greenskin army. You hear me? No. 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 Stop it. Don't you... Don't you fucking dare go... Go somewhere fucking weird. You loony. Uh, oh god, Broken Axe are actually only strength rank 30. Jesus, what the fuck happened? And uh, yeah, you've got no settlements. Okay, so hopefully you should get wiped out, which is fantastic. You guys are actually doing something. The stress is leaving me. I can feel it oozing out of my pores. Good as me, I hope that's stress. And right, you. No. Right, what we got? 50 It's 50-50. Nope, that was pretty much pretty much what I expected, to be honest. Let's bring you down here. Okay, let's bop that. And do a red one. Ooh, forbidden rods. God, can we do a twofer? Did a twofer. Nice. Love, love a twofer. God, you can move very far, can't you? Okay. Bretonia. You can occupy that one, right? Deal with that for me. If you can deal with that, we can keep... Grom contained. We just need to knock out any settlement. Right, like this one. This settlement here. That needs to be knocked out. Because it's a it's a big one. So let's do an ambush there. We'll see how that goes. Fine. Okay, that's that to be honest, taking a settlement. Good. That means you're dead. Right, the Purge of Lustre is is complete. Again, for a second time. We have purged the shit out of Lustria. It's done. We, we, we did it, everyone. May have taken us a little bit longer, but we, we fucking did it. Okay, now to see. To go and save Ulthuan. Have they... Nope, they... I, we, we... God, I need to... I need to take retake Lothurn somehow. Like, get the... If I can get these guys, if I can like lay, not lay siege to it, but like maybe sack it, like kill the army, basically soften it up for them and then go, come on guys, come on, you can do it, 
you could do it. Like, tentatively, like, come, like, come on, like, everyone's dead. Like, it's just bodies everywhere. And I'm like, come on, guys. All you have to do is walk into this. And they just walk into the wall and then die, kill themselves, like, trying to walk into the city. And then I, then I weep. Openly, openly weep. But with any luck, we can, like, try and purge. What? The, the fucking Vanna Heimlings are here. Jesus Christ. Why do they own most of Ulthwan? Guys! You're like an elder race, guys. Jesus Christ. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, I, I, I feel like Azhag is... I'm, I'm, I'm going to call Azhag dead. So we're just going to... We're going to book it in this direction. I think we're good. I'm happy with that. We are just going to head... Head for the battleground that is Bretonia. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.